If you've been looking for a way to add live image previews to custom products in WooCommerce, then I have some good news for you. We've launched a plugin called Live Preview that works as an extension for our popular WooCommerce product options plugin. Without Live Preview, customers had no way of seeing a mock-up of their custom products. They could see similar designs, but nothing that included their own uploaded images. But this all changes with our Live Preview plugin. Vendors can now include mock images with a printable area and add them to product pages. Customers can then preview their own uploaded images and edit their size and orientation within the provided area. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up and use this plugin on your own site. You'll learn how to add the preview option to your custom products. Then you'll see how to set up printable areas for your mock images. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I'll note is that Live Preview only works when you already have WooCommerce product options already installed and activated on your website. If you haven't already got this plugin, you can purchase the two of them together as a bundle on our website, which is the best way to get started. Then once you purchase the bundle, go ahead and install WooCommerce product options in the same way as you would install any plugin, and Live Preview will be automatically added to your site for you. Or if you already own a license for product options, you can upgrade the Live Preview bundle from the plugin settings page here. The next step from here is to add an image upload option that you can apply to any of your custom products. So let's go to products and click on product options. And here we can see a list of all of our option groups that we have. And I'm gonna add a new group to show you how to do this. I'll give it a name, we'll call it image upload. And then you can set the visibility to display globally on all products, or you can show on specific categories or products. For example, here I could display it on hoodies. Then scroll down to the bottom and you can click on add option. Give this option a name, we'll call it file upload. And we can either display or choose to hide this name from our shoppers. Click on the file upload option and we'll give it a label. You can add a price to this, like a flat fee, for example, an extra $10, or you can just make it free. Now here is where we get the addition of the live preview. So for this image upload field, we want to enable live preview and the preview button can say customize or it can say anything else we like. Now there's a little label here telling us to set a printable area for the product image, and we'll be getting to that later on in the video. You can also write a description to provide more details for your customers. And if you want this to be something that all customers should do before purchasing, you can set it as a required field. Now click on save changes, and then we'll take a look at the advanced settings. So click on edit, scroll down, all the way to the bottom, advanced settings and you can set a maximum file size. If you write 10, then that will limit the image file to 10 megabytes. You can also set a maximum number of files. So this will limit whether customers can upload multiple images or not. So in this case, I'm gonna set the number to two. And here we can set the allowed file types. You can scroll through and see there are a lot available. But if you don't want to accept anything except for images, then you can also remove these ones. There we go. Now let's save these changes. Go back to the options group, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see that our new image upload has been added to the list and it's enabled on this particular custom printed hoodie product. So if we visit that product now, we can see that this is a variable product. We can choose the color from variation dropdowns. This is just default WooCommerce activity here. And then we can upload a file here into the file upload. Now I'll get back to this in a minute because I wanna talk about the printable area, but you can see that it's already working. It's got my image here and I can press apply. And that's showing the image on the hoodie. Now this turns out to not be a PNG image, so I will use a different one in the next example. Now by default, customers could theoretically add their uploaded picture or image to any part of your product image. So to restrict this a little bit, 
we're going to set up printable areas on your products. And to do that, we need to go back to our WordPress dashboard and click on media and go to our library. Then we'll click on one of the images that we want to modify. And you can see this one already has a printable area showing. So you can either add or edit the printable area with the button down here. And there's plenty of options. So you can add a circle, for example, resize that circle. Maybe you want to put a circle here and a rectangle here. Then there's two printable areas. And then this option here allows you to build out a custom shape. If you want to delete a polygon, you can just select it and click delete from your keyboard. And you can see the exact dimensions and position down here in the corner. Now there are also some checkboxes for the image options. You can allow only one image per area if you prefer that. You can disable moving or resizing when the customer uploads their image. Although I wouldn't necessarily recommend this except in very specific use cases. So you can check this box to use the same printable area for all of the variation images that are within this product. Now I've just switched to a different image to help me illustrate this next setting called product option. So let's say you want to add a front and a back printable area to a t-shirt and you've uploaded two separate images for each of those printable areas. Well, what you need to do is create two different upload fields. So this here is the front design and I've created a file upload field. And similarly, I've created one for the back design. Then in the printable area, you'll click here and scroll down until you find that specific upload field. So t-shirt front and back, we want the t-shirt front design for this image. Click on apply. And for the back of the image, we'll click on t-shirt back design. And let me show you how that looks for the customer on the front end. So when the customer has uploaded a design for the front of the t-shirt, it will show up here. They can click on apply. And if they upload a separate design for the back of the t-shirt, it'll look like this. And when they browse through the images, they can see the different previews for the different parts of the t-shirt. So now let's come back to our custom printed hoodie. I've just refreshed the page and you can see I've selected the color blue. I'm gonna upload a different file here. And this just gives us a little preview. Show a printable area, we'll go apply. And then I can either hit this little edit button here, customize, or I can click on edit image. And then this is going to allow me to rotate it, move it up or down within the principal area. And if I go like this, it'll just crop the image. So I just have to be careful to put it back in the middle here. Click on apply. And this is what my hoodie in theory will look like after printed. This is just a preview. It's not actually what the, will be sent to the store's printer, obviously, but it does give the vendor and the customer a really good idea of what the customer is asking for. And then when I click on add to cart, you can see it's been added to my cart. If I go view in the cart, it will show a preview of what the customer has ordered. Now, many stores need to use the same printable areas on multiple images. Now, for example, if all of your t-shirt products have images which are the same size and shape, like these ones here, this red, green, and blue one, then you could just apply the same printable area to all of them. For variable products, you just have to enable this checkbox, use for variation images, and that's really it. But for separate products, you can use this copy areas button here and the paste button on a new image to apply it. So if I go to this next image, I can paste the area and it's copied the exact dimensions from the previous image and applied them. And I can do that for all of these images if I want to. I could even apply it to a totally different image like this one here. 
you can see it's got the same dimensions. You can also click on the principal area and delete it using the delete key on your keyboard. Finally, let's take a look at the global plugin settings. So first go to product options and then click on settings. You can see your license key here. And below that, you can see the live preview. You can change the customized button text. For example, I prefer edit image. So that's what customers will see when they click to change their image. You can also change the label from preview to something else on the cart and checkout pages. But I think preview is just fine. Then click on save changes. We hope you enjoy using our live preview plugin. Click here to get the plugin bundle for your site or click on this video to learn more about the main product options plugin. And of course, thanks for watching.